Introduction Hi, my name is Sarah Ye, and I'm in 7E. I joined the cross-country team, and I swim two times a week. I am creating this video because in health, I have learned about a healthy lifestyle, and during the health class, I learned the factors of my life. The factors that are causing me to have a balanced life and an unbalanced life. In this video, I will be talking about uh, what is causing me to have a balanced lifestyle and an unbalanced lifestyle. And my eating habits. And my exercising um, habits. Social networking sites. I enjoy being connected with friends, so I keep it on all the time while I try to do homework. I should keep this balanced. You can get addicted, and you might get bothered from other work that you should finish. You can stay connected with your friends from a far distance, and chatting is a way to deal with stress for some people. Media Advertisements if I buy one, I keep buying more and more. If I go internet shopping, I just spend hours admiring at the stuff that I'm not even going to order. Advertisement also lures me to buy unnecessities just by good deals. When I see advertisements for junk food, it looks so good that even though I know it's unhealthy, I go and buy it. However, advertisements also notice, notifies me of the new goods and new trends. And at least that's good. You get greedy and might eat or buy something which is unnecessary and waste time watching advertisements. Plus, when you internet shop, your order might be deceived. And this is the same with home shopping too. However, advertisements keep me notified of trends and goods. And internet shopping or home shopping is an easy way to shop. After school activities. I get minimum of two hours of exercise every week. Before, I joined the cross country team. Now I go to the swimming pool and I swim two hours every week. And after, I go skiing with my family. This really works for me to keep fit and increase my endorphins. I, I earn motivation, which is to keep fit, and perseverance while I do these aerobic sports. When you get back from after school activities, you will notice that your homework time has decreased and your free time. Doing after school activities will keep you fit when you are exercising. If you go to academies, they will help you succeed in school. Just doing after school activities will bring you closer to new teachers and friends who have the similar interests to you. Transportation Transportation saves me a great deal of time when I get to school and to home. These types of transportation is bad for my health because of the air pollution around me, which is carbon monoxide. I also get lazy since I just have to sit and boom, I'm there. I think I expect too much of things because I expect the bus to wait for me and my car to wait for me. I should stop thinking like this. Using too much technology is bad for your health because the carbon monoxide that cars and buses produces. You also get lazy when using these types of vehicles because all you have to do is to handle, pedal, and then you're there. You can save a great amount of time when you're using bikes or cars or buses and others to get to one place. You can communicate with other people by using traffic lights. Also, you can learn patience through traffic. Relationships with family, friends, or teachers. Sometimes I waste time by having a long play date with friends when I'm not even done with my homework. However, I can't cancel the play date neither because of the promise I made. Having these relationships with teachers, family, and friends let me have someone to talk to and make me feel better. Though I may experience harsh times, I learn from it and learn to deal with them. You can experience difficult times. You learn not to disappoint friends, teachers, or family, and learn how to control your feelings. This lets you think before you talk so you wouldn't have to be rude.
You will learn how to socialize. Junk food. I eat junk food once a month, which is too much. I try to keep it balanced. I eat junk food because it's yummy and I don't have time to eat a slow meal. Food is bad for our health, decrease our lifespan, makes us fat, cause problems in our body, and we waste money on needless food. However, while we eat junk food, we grow more sensitive about what we eat in the future. Eating habits. I eat junk food once a month. I always, or I try to look at the nutrition facts before I eat unhealthy food. I eat fruits and vegetables two times a day as a minimum. We have a choice to eat good or bad food. This might affect a person to be healthy or not and feel energized or not. You should be careful of what you eat and will be able to control your eating habits. Health problems. When I eat junk food, I gain weight and I feel fat and lazy. Then I get a stomach ache and get acne all over my face. To avoid these problems, I try to avoid eating unhealthy food. The access of bad food can cause health problems such as type 2 diabetes, being overweight, heart attack, and lots of other problems. Eating bad and healthy food will tire you and make you lazy. Aerobic exercises. I have a controlled diet before cross country and I keep myself hydrated. I increase my stamina. I get motivated to reach a certain time to run a certain distance. Swimming, walking, cross country, are examples of aerobic exercises. These increase your perseverance, flexibility, and stamina. Anaerobic exercises. I get to be concentrated and pour all my energy in short time. I improve my balance by doing anaerobic exercises. Short sprints and weightlifting are the examples for anaerobic sports. They improve your hand eye or foot eye coordination. Fitness. I recover in one and a half minutes. I am quite fit, but I want to be more fit. To be more fit, I need to exercise more. Measuring pulse is measuring how fit you are. Measuring pulse is how fast your body recovery rate. As faster you, you recover, the more fit you are. This may depend. By recording the pulse rates, you might see yourself improve. My balance in terms of a healthy lifestyle is getting enough sleep. I want to change my sleep habits because 50% of the reason that I'm not going, going is probably that I'm not getting enough sleep at an appropriate time. And the other 50% is that I'm stressed is mostly like to be that I'm not sleeping enough. I can accomplish my new lifestyle goal by finishing my homework as quickly as possible by meaning substituting homework for chatting. That would save more time and make me sleep earlier. I usually sleep at 12. After deactivating my Facebook, now I sleep at 11. That shows how much I've improved so far. I can track this by using a calendar and recording a week weekly video. I can tell my family to ask me to sleep at 10.30 p.m. at least. For friends, I can ask my friends to not chat me after 10 so I can prepare to go to bed. I will maintain the change by making myself get used to the early bedtime so I will not be able to handle sleeping so late into night doing nothing.